Hey guys, what's going on? Joe with Lomo Paintball today. Well, first, I got my custom uh, auto cocker done, Detroit Fusion Team gun. Uh, but what we're doing is I'm going to be installing the new Exalt wood grip. Uh, you guys probably saw Paintball Extravaganza Exalt uh, release these. Uh, the wood grips are uh, they're a throwback. They were super popular 20 some years ago. Um, everybody had them on their auto cockers, on their auto mags. Uh, it was kind of the kind of the thing to have. Uh, so it's kind of a nostalgic thing that Exalt uh, ended up re-releasing these. So um, yeah, without further ado, we'll crack on in. I got this one already cut open. So they're going to come in two colors. They're going to come in the uh, dark charcoal. So slide the gun over for a sec. Now they're uh, real wood, not plastic with like a wood finish. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they're real wood. Uh, so when you open up the box. We're gonna come on in here. You're gonna have your two two different pieces, but uh, yeah, on the other, definitely real wood. Um, you, can, you know, feel the wood grains, all that, and a nice smooth polished finish. Contour grooves for your fingers and um, right up top, that kind of for your trigger finger to rest on. Uh, so they're nice. Uh, they're pretty much identical to the old. I think it was Smart Parts who actually used to make them. It was now Gog and you know, the Freak line and all that, but. Uh, yeah, they're real similar. Um, so yeah, nice, uh, nice set of grips. So you got the uh, dark charcoal, and then inside, you're gonna, it's going to come with your hardware. Open this up because I'm going to be installing these in a second, anyways. Pour that into the tray. So you got your whoa. Only losing that. You got your four uh, Allen head screws that actually hold on the grip. Two there, two on the other side, and then you got your three little pins. Is that now? Three little pins that are going to line up in these three little slots. So I'll pop that in. That's going to keep the two panels lining up perfectly, not ever going to slide around on you. So two. So here's a three. obvious question: Do they have extra parts kits when I lose my pins and screws? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure if you get a hold of them, uh, it's, you know they give you exactly what you need in the box. But uh, hopefully you can get some more. So these are the dark charcoal. These are the ones I'm going to put on this gun. I think they'll look pretty good, It'd be comfortable at least. And then the other color is going to be kind of your natural, um, you know, wood grain, the brown. So, bam, same thing every, that all comes in there. So two different colorway options for you on these guys. What's that retail? Oh, retail. Uh, I believe they're forty nine ninety five. So, of course, I don't have my phone with me to double check, but. Uh, yeah, I believe forty nine ninety five. They listed it on the website. We have so many parts and things on there. It's hard to keep track of everything. But yeah, right around forty fifty bucks tops uh, on the set of grips. So not bad. I mean, if you try and find the original Smart Parts ones from back in the day, I mean, guys are trying. I mean, probably even before that, we're getting close to a hundred bucks on them if you had them in real good condition. The forty five, the dual forty five, like that. Uh, there's some of the old ones that were made to fit on the auto mags that just had the center punch hole or. So, but uh, cool. So yeah, like I said, this is uh, one of my auto cockers. I know I've done a shooting video with this before. So uh, I think actually, didn't uh, Callista and I shoot this? Yes. Yeah, yeah, was, you... uh, yeah that was back in the summer. So uh, yeah, check that out uh, if you want to see uh, yeah, see this thing in action. But uh, I'm gonna slide my parts over here out of the way. Super easy install. Let's remove some screws. Now they're screwdriver headed screws, not Allen? Uh, these are Allen head. The okay. ones that Exalt gives you are Allen head. So we got my trusty Allen wrench. If you guys don't have a set of these, pick these up guys. You can get them in a set with like 10 or 12 different uh, Allen head sizes. Uh, they're awesome for little tech work like this. And yeah. If you got auto cockers, you probably have Allen wrenches. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, these can come in handy like when we do part swaps on 170 hours. So we can easily take the trigger out and so they slip in in little spots and poof. And take things uh, right on out. So, just loosening this one up. Just threw me off because you pulled out a normal screwdriver. Yeah, like, yeah, these old school ones. That was kind of the popular of uh, old school style. You'd see a lot of them just had yeah, normal Phillips heads. So, uh, and then yeah, these are just the traditional. These are actually hog wrap around grips. These are the same type of grips you'll find like when you buy like a you know 45 or other type of real handgun. So, uh, people would always use those. But so draw exposed. Trigger spring, all that. So we're just gonna pop 
the drips in. Maybe the one side. Oh. Yeah. Actually, let's say that. Last. So, uh, I'm getting all turned around. So. <laughs> it's under pressure. Yeah, flip it. So, there you go. Okay, so I'll do this one first. Uh, yeah, holes line up absolutely perfect. So that's nice. You know, you always worry about you know perfect fitment and things like that, and especially with wood grips. When you do not have any room for air, with rubber ones at least, you can kind of, uh, you know, things aren't absolutely perfect. Get a little bit of, you know, wiggle room, but uh, this one getting the first screw shut. <laughs> yeah, you come back. Is this where the mark plays the 15 minutes later? 15 minutes later. So, yep, lined up. Bam. First side done. And so I'm not to worry about the pins popping out. So I got my uh, one side of grip installed. The other three got the three pins. Just kind of push them in, make sure they're snug. Yeah. So probably the easiest way to install them is just going to be... Got it. Do the one side, get them mounted on your gun, set these three in place. It's kind of nice that they're not just so, you know, so press fit in there that they're popping out. So that's what I would recommend. Just doing, doing all the work for you guys, saving you time later. So install the one grip, and then once you're ready to do the other half, set those three into place. So that way it just lays right on there. You're going to make sure that these three holes line up with these three pins. Lines up. Completes the wrap. So, really easy to line these holes up now. And don't go torquing your grip screws, guys. You don't want to split this wood. Because you like put all the pressure you can. It just needs to be yeah, snug. Just yeah, I mean it's so all like you know when I just go till it's kinda initially stops and then usually just kinda one extra just to lock in place, nothing crazy, but that easy. So I've got the nice wood grip installed on here. Smooth, soft, comfortable, like the contours and nice little throwback. So uh it looks really good on that gun. Yeah. Because it blends in nicely with the anodizing. Yeah, and I like it. So yeah, and then like I said, they got the original uh, kind of lighter, lighter color for guys who want that, and got your darker hardwood. But everything's on there. Yeah. Front, front lines up. They're not going to move around. Not going to wiggle. So cool. Yeah. So, yeah uh, like I said, just want to show you guys these. So these are going to be compatible. Like I said, if you need the dual forty-five, which you know these will work on a real firearm and working on you know most of your cocker frames, um, old school stuff like that. Um, I don't think any other guy, oh, 98 Customs probably, um, yeah, the Tipman guns use the, uh, offset 45s like that, so you'd probably be able to use it on a 98, I haven't tried, but, um, yeah, I would imagine it would work, because the, that screw set lines up, but, uh, so yeah, real, real quick video for you guys, showing you the Exalt wood panel grips, uh, nice little, uh, throwback, uh, touch for your old school guns, so. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, these are available on our website at lonewolfpaintball.com. Uh, free shipping on orders 30 bucks or more, so you can get these sent to your door for free. Uh, don't forget to check out the jerkyden.com. Uh, get the best beef jerky that's available. And you got a, uh, any other questions? Yeah, uh, yeah. Questions? Sorry, finding one quickly from the comments on YouTube. Uh, uh, da -da -da -da, no, no, no. Oh, crap. Um, all right, so this is one should be able to answer. See if you remember. Uh, crap, no, that doesn't work. There's a different <laughs> gun. Sorry. Uh, shoot. It's, it's so many comments, but no questions. Uh, there we go. Uh, VW Rabbit 2008 
uh, wants to know, how is the new Lux X in cold weather? I know the ice was terrible. Uh, I haven't personally shot it in, in the super cold weather. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, you know, sometimes guns, I mean, all paintball equipment can tend to act a little funny when stuff, uh, stuff starts to get pretty cold. So, yeah, no, that might be something. Maybe we'll put uh, maybe we'll put one in the freezer and get it nice and cold and go out and do a shooting video with it. So. I mean, we play in Michigan in the cold. I don't think anybody's had any yeah, no major complaints. Yeah, no major issues. So, but, uh, yeah. Cool. All right. If you got a question, leave it in the comments, and maybe we'll pick you for a uh, answering. See right. ya. Take it easy, guys.